Well, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? See y'all talks football. We're back again with another video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to my content. But let's get straight into it. Standard FC have turned on Turkish. And if you don't know what I mean, Standard FC is people who say, oh, we have high standards. We would never accept Mikel Arteta, a novice. They're always on to Arteta. And they could also classify as the Arteta out mob. And I would classify them as Lee Gunner, Northside, Jazz, just some of the guys. I've spoken to them. They're cool people. It's just they have a difference of opinion to me. And Turkish, for the longest time, has been one of the people who have been cronky out. And he probably still might be. I don't know. And also, he's been Arteta out. But as of late, as Arsenal's performances continue to improve, Arsenal continue to improve. And we see we have another serious title challenge on our hands where we take it to the final day of the season. It looks like Turkish has changed his opinion on Mikel Arteta. And it has upset some people, specifically Northside and Jess. Now, I'm going to play some clips from from everything, but before we go any further, first you need to see what Turkish said, and then we'll show you what the other guy said. But let, let's get into it. First, let's go to what Turkish said. This was on AFTV. We're back, big table, and we're here to stay. Whether it happens in seven days or 12 months, it's happening, bro. Mm. A major trophy is coming. And I fully agree with him. Whether it happens this season, what happens next season? I genuinely believe this team is on the progress, uh, on the process of getting league titles and and competing at the top. We've gone so far to now sack Mikel Arteta. I think would be detrimental to the club, and some people just still want the manager sacked. But clearly, Turkish doesn't, and he believes in the process now. He even said in this post that I doubted Mikel. I'm sorry for doubting him. But yeah, let's continue. The, let's continue the clip to the emirates and it's about fucking time it happens perfect if it happens in seven days we will love it we will be there <laughs> if it doesn't we know we are there again next season and no, yes no, it's not guaranteed that we're there next bro, season. we're there again next season bro most goals, scored, the least goals conceded for the majority of this season we have been the best team but the table doesn't lie off that's true majority of the season we have been the best team and the table doesn't lie if only we be aston villa uh that took the did the double over us, West Ham, Fulham. If we could have got more points in those games, we would have probably won the league title because what we did against the top teams has been nothing but impressive. Four points off Liverpool, four points off Man City, uh, the double over Manchester United. Uh, what is it? Four points off Chelsea and four points off Tottenham. Crazy. Let's continue. After 38. So if Man City do it again, Man City will be the best team. If you take out Pep and City over the last two years, and Arteta had won the league last year with 85 points, Arteta wins the league this year with 89 points. You know, no one will be ridiculing him like they try and do. No one will be doubting him like they try and do. Arteta has brought us to the top table. And this is coming... People out there will be quick to say... Oh, you was, you was yeah, yeah, but cool. surely that makes more sense to listen to it coming from someone who doubted the man. I fully agree with him. Uh, when you have people who've doubted the manager coming out and saying that they believe in the manager, they believe in what's happening, they believe in the process, they believe in what we're actually witnessing, doesn't that prove to you that we're actually seeing signs of progress? And shouldn't you believe that person even more? That is not what Jez is saying. That is not what Northside's saying. Let me show you what uh, Jez said earlier today on the Gunners channel. Let me show you guys this. This this is hilarious, by the way. Big up, big up these guys, but this is hilarious. Check it out. Look at this. Your Jude friend, Bellingham. your friend, fucking Turkish man. He's a sellout. I said, I said to you. You know, Jez is a nice guy, but he does, he does, uh, uh, he does for older gentlemen use a lot of foul language. But it, it, I, let, although his delivery is harsh, let's just hear if he makes a valid point. I love Turkish. I know you don't like Turkish, but Turkish is sound, but I know you don't like it. He sold out. He's sold out. Don't like. He's saying he sold out. What do you mean by that? He sold out because he believes in the manager. He sold out because he's seeing progress. And that means you can actually change your opinion because you're seeing, you're witnessing in front of your face improvement. Jez, witnessing improvement doesn't mean you're selling out. Selling out is doing it for a dollar. He's not doing it for a dollar. He fully believes that the manager and the team have improved to a level where we're going to win the league title. But let's see what Jez says. Maybe he says more than just he sold out. <laughs> I so love the trophy. Look at Don Carlito, bro. Yeah, what did he do at Everton? Don Car Carlito didn't do nothing at Everton. What did what did Carlo Ancelotti do at Everton, league Gunner? What are we talking about? 
Yeah. Well, he, what did you do in Napoli? What did Car, uh, Car, what did Carlo? Did Carlo Ancelotti win the league at Napoli? I don't think he did. I'm pretty sure Napoli won their first league title in 33 years just recently. Did Carlo Ancelotti win them the league? Am I, am I tripping? There's no way Carlo Ancelotti has been managing for that long because the last time they won the league was before then, if I'm not mistaken, was... I'm sure, Lee, why are you celebrating Carlo Ancelotti at Napoli? Because he, I'm sure he never won them the league. I'm I'm 100% sure that he uh, Carlo Ancelotti never won them the league. So why, why are we celebrating a manager who didn't win that club a league title or didn't do anything? I'm pretty sure that's why you criticize Mikel Arteta. So why are you celebrating Carlo Ancelotti at this moment in time? I didn't even notice that he did that in this video. So yeah, let's see. Um, he managed Napoli from 2000. He he managed Napoli for one season. Why are you picking him up? He managed Napoli for uh, for literally for one, uh, for one season. Why are you picking him up? What did he do at Napoli? He didn't do nothing at Napoli. You you you're picking him up for his time at Everton. What did he do at Everton? I'm pretty sure Lee Gunnar only judges managers on silverware. Why is he picking him up for his job at Napoli? And his job at Everton. Surely he would have mentioned Aston Villa. I mean, surely, I mean, surely he would have mentioned AC Milan. Surely he would have mentioned Chelsea. What are you talking about, mate? Anyways, let's continue. Let's just go. Let's just land. Come on. No, sorry, mate. I'm I'm talking about Turkish. He sold himself out. Right? He was our tetra out, our tetra out, our tetra out. When he, as soon as he got on AFTV, I'm an Arteta-in, Arteta-in, Arteta-in. That's not even true because, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Turkish was Arteta out for a while now. And he's been on AFTV for a while now. So I don't know where he's getting his information from. Jez, respectfully, uh, you're wrong on this one because Turkish, just, uh, just, he, just a few, just, a, just, what was it? It was three years ago. He was he was he was officially Arteta out. He apologized to Arteta this year, but even I think two years ago, or he said Arteta was finished after we lost to Man City, right? I think I could probably find even something more recent. Let's see if I can find something more recent. Uh, 2023 um, response to Arteta out appearing. Uh, uh, he he Turkish Turkish has changed his tune on Arteta because. He has seen Arteta has improved, but even then he was still he was still criticizing the manager. He he spoke about how he has specific good qualities and everything, and I can even try to show you guys what I mean right here. But yeah, I don't think you have a leg to stand on on this one, Chez. I think you're you're really you're really kind of just you're kind of overdoing it. But let's see. So yeah, as you can see here, he apologized tw uh, 24 hours ago. He he uh, on on the Ludo Gunners channel, he was talking about Arteta out in 2020, 2021. Uh, even three weeks ago, he was talking about how Arteta. Uh, he asked uh, for Arteta to be sacked previously, and he's he's changed, and now he's saying I'm sorry. But even a couple, just just when he was on AFTV back in 2021, he was still saying it. So it's not like he just magically changed. Come on, Chess, what are we doing? Uh, but yeah. Let's go to Northside now. Northside, Northside is is on is on something else because my man was was going in on Turkish. I don't know what. It's let's see what Northside had to say though before we before we go any further. One second, let me show you guys what Northside had to say. And by the way, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button while you guys are here. But yeah, let's get this going. What did Northside have to say? We were taking the piss out of. We are well and truly back in love now. You know, and that's without us getting over the line. It's not about getting over the line. So Turkish is right. It's not about getting over the line. It's pro about progress and building the team to a level where you can sustain it for a long time and a long period. But that is going to trigger Standard FC. Be prepared for the triggering in three, two, one. We ain't How can Turkish say we're back in love? It's not about getting over the line. This, this. What is going on? What is going on? How can man... Mas deixa me sentar só com a um pouco, porque isso já vai me estressar. How can you say, yeah? I've got kind of a lot of what Turkish has said in, in, in past years. I'm sorry, yeah? 
Eu não vou tolerar essa porcaria. I'm sorry, bro. No. How can you say it's not about getting over the line? We were taking the piss out of. The reason why it's not about getting over the line, Northside, is because it's about improving. It's about seeing your team have a level of sustainability where you can build from and have sustained success. It's great having a, a league title here. And then what if you get that league title and you completely drop off a cliff? You don't build the team to a level where you can sustain it. You don't you don't have that young squad. You don't have the, the actual ability and the groundwork to continue to win more and more and more. This team is built for the future and this team is built for sustained success. It's not built for just quick... And, and, and that's it. We don't have an aging squad. We don't have a bunch of players that are at the end of their time. We have a very good young squad. And for him to believe that this team not only could maybe win it this year if City drop points, but will be there next season, there's nothing wrong with that. And the fact that he believes that this team will be there and thereabouts next season gives him enough belief to believe in the manager. And since you don't believe in the manager, I don't expect you to understand that. But yeah, this was this was the little beef that they have. And you guys can go check out Northside's video he did on it. You can go check out Lee Gunner's video on it. And of course, you guys can go check out AFTV's video on it. I'll try to, I'll maybe put the links to all three of them in the description. But yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know, what do you guys think? Do you think Chez and Northside have any reason to be upset at Turkish? Or is, or is Turkish not making valid points? And since he was Arteta out, he shouldn't really be allowed to change his stance. Let me know what you guys think. Because to me... It just sounds like they're mad because they're on their own now. But yeah, I'm out of here, people. Have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.